The British Interplanetary Society BIS, founded in Liverpool in 1933 by Philip E. Cleeter, is the oldest space advocacy organisation in the world. Its aim is exclusively to support and promote astronautics and space exploration. Topic. Structure It is a non-profit organization with headquarters in London and is financed by members' contributions. It is situated on South Lambeth Road, A203, near Vauxhall Station, and not far from the Secret Intelligence Service building. Topic. History The BIS was only preceded in astronautics by the American Interplanetary Society founded 1930, the German VFR, and Soviet rocket research groups, but unlike those it never became absorbed into a national industry. Thus it is now the world's oldest existing space advocacy body. When originally formed in January 1933, the BIS aimed not only to promote and raise the public profile of astronautics, but also to undertake practical experimentation into rocketry along similar lines to the organizations above. However early in 1936, the Society discovered that this ambition was thwarted by the Explosives Act of 1875, which prevented any private testing of liquid fuel rockets in the United Kingdom. Topic. Proposals for design of space vehicles In the late 1930s, the group devised a project of landing people on the Moon by a multi-stage rocket, each stage of which would have many narrow solid fuel rockets. Their lander was gumdrop-shaped but otherwise quite like the lunar module. As it was considered that the cabin would have to rotate, BIS member Ralph A. Smith, who helped re-establish the Society post WW2, invented the first instrument for space travel, the Coelostat, a navigation mechanism which would ingeniously cancel out the rotating view. It was R. A. Smith and Harry Ross M. Eng, who were the aerospace visionaries named on the original patent. Smith also authored and illustrated the 1947 book, The Exploration of the Moon, showing the first ever conceptual orbital satellite, text by Arthur C. Clarke, which is said to have inspired both John F. Kennedy and Stanley Kubrick. In 1940s, the group had planned for suborbital spaceflight by converted V-2 rocket as Megarock. Topic. Role in international space During the Second International Astronautical Congress, held in London in 1951, the BIS was one of 13 national space societies which together founded the International Astronautical Federation. The other founding members no longer exist as national societies leaving only the BIS. Topic. Nearest stars In 1978, the Society published a starship study called Project Deedless, which was a detailed feasibility study for a simple unmanned interstellar flyby mission to Barnard's star using present-day technology and a reasonable extrapolation of near-future capabilities. Deedless was to have used a pellet-driven nuclear pulse fusion rocket to accelerate to 12% of the speed of light. Topic. Mars The latest in this series of far-reaching studies produced the Project Boreas report, which designed a manned station for the Martian North Pole. The report was short-listed for the 2007 Sir Arthur Clarke Awards in the category of Best Written Presentation. Topic. Publications. The BIS publishes the academic journal Journal of the British Interplanetary Society and the monthly magazine Spaceflight. In 2008, the BIS published Interplanetary, a history of the society to date. Topic. Awards given by the society The science writer Arthur C. Clarke was a well-known former chairman of the British Interplanetary Society. 
The Society was presented with the first special award, from the 2005 Sir Arthur Clarke Awards. This was a gift of Sir Arthur's choice, independent of the judging panel. In 2008, the Society's magazine, Spaceflight, edited by Clive Simpson, was the winner of the award for Best Space Reporting. Charles Chilton joined the Society before writing and producing the popular science fiction radio trilogy Journey into Space. Topic. See also Archibald Lowe, one of the founder members of the BIS, and its president from 1936 to 1951. British Space Programme National Space Centre Project Daedalus Project Boreas Project Icarus Megarock <laughs>